my stable little boy bug master twice the nice that you are used to ship blimson and today we are talking super crooks so hi if you're new here my name is bug master cool from meister geek media i talk all sorts of geek media from the comic books to superheroes and the animes and the sci-fis and all of that great stuff so if any of that sounds cool to you please feel free to tickle that subscribe button and that bell button so you never miss a video all right, so Super Crooks, this was a Netflix original anime, and um, surprisingly enough, I, I, I didn't know this, or I didn't notice it when I was watching the trailer for this thing, that, it, it, that it's set in the same universe as Jupiter's Legacy, or a version of Jupiter's Legacy, or whatever, with the Utopian, and all of that stuff. So, definitely better than what they did with the live action stuff definitely because that that series is no <laughs> there's there's some merit to it but it's not really good I, it's not really good but anyway we're talking about something else entirely here something else entirely different English so just a question like with when you're making a super villain series is it imperative that the superheroes have to suck to because just before we get into the main crew and all of them stuff, these supers in this show, they are horrible. And like, you're just like, they do stuff where I'm like, how are you still in business? Like, how are you, how are people still following your social media? Like, how are people still liking you guys at all? Like, the boys, at least they can pretend. <laughs> you know, they have protocol. Like, Homelander will at least attempt to save people and he'll like mess up once in a while and it'll, it won't be on purpose. Like, these dudes legitimately cause destruction and kill people on purpose, and they're the superheroes? I mean, like, maybe the main league is cool, but there's some D-listers in here, and there's one dude who's supposed to be a major part of the, of the Union of Justice, and he is just killing people left and right, and I'm just like, nigga, how? But enough about the superheroes, because that's not what this is about. Let's talk some villains. Uh, well, the villains. All right, so we got Johnny Bolt, right? Johnny Bolt is supposed to be a big-time villain. He's really not petty criminal at most. Like, he's just a thief, and he just, like, takes stuff and whatever, whatever, whatever. And honestly, until you get towards the end, he's terrible <laughs> at his job. His job. He's a bad criminal. He is so bad, it's like, man, because he has a situation where he tries to be a hero and he even messes up that much. He even messes that up way to the left, like there's no saving it. But now when he does his villainous activities, he's horrible also. He's not good at this stuff at all. It's like, dude, you should just go, go be a magician. <laughs> go, go make magic tricks or start a YouTube channel or go get an accountant job or something. You are not cut out for either one of these professions. You are not a hero and you are definitely not a villain. Again, towards the end, he becomes competent for a very major reason, but like, he's not good at either one of these professions. And what's worse is Johnny Bolt over here has a woman named Casey and Casey is in love with this dude. And she is, she's probably my favorite character in this series. I love her. She is practical. She has her head screwed on straight. And you know what I'm saying? She ain't trying to be a super villain for the sake of super villainy. She's just like, look, dude, I've had a bad life. It has not been great for me. I just want to get some some little money, some some, and then I just want to retire. Like that's her whole spiel, and like you see her with this dude, and you're just like boo 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 boo. If he doesn't change, boo boo, leave him, save yourself. You can find someone else. <laughs> I'm just saying, she too good for Johnny. She is way too, Johnny better be on his best behavior with this woman. Cause she is too good for Johnny. <laughs> and then there's this character called the Heat. He's like the master splinter <laughs> of criminality or something. This is Mr. Miyagi Yoda. Is a crime, crimes do you must. Oh, I messed up my Yoda impression so bad. Anyway, but you get the point. Is like he, he's just he, he's literally like the Nick Fury where he assembles the Avengers of stealing or something. So there's a little, a little bit of a fun dynamic there. But also you come 
come to find out he's not as good as you think he should be. Like, he, he's competent, but he's not as competent as you think he should be. And he's just like, how are y'all villains? How are Why? And then, of course, you get, like, the big bad villain. I mean, they do something different with the big bad villain, but, like, he's a mustache twirler. You know, it's, it's, it's a boo ha 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 and all of that stuff. But they do do something different with him where you might appreciate it if, if you're like, oh, I've never seen that before. So there is, like, some different aspects to this whole uh, show. And, like, I, I like the premise. I just thought that, well, for one, there's a lot less action than I thought there would be. Or maybe there was, but, it, like, it, it was, like, spaced out in a way where it didn't seem like a lot. And then also I think this thing had, like, glaring inconsistencies. Glaring inconsistencies. Like, again, inconsistencies in fiction, it's fine. You know, it's fiction. Like, there's gonna, there's, you know... Captain America is not going to be able to, like, block a, 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 an explosion with a shield, but he'll be able to hold Tony Stark by the foot when Tony Stark has an engine in his feet or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, there's there's a lot of inconsistencies in fiction. It's, it's not always going to make sense. But I just think, like, there's some points in the series where I'm just like, wait, your powers were, like, huge and vast, and you could do, like, all of these crazy, crazy things. And then now they're just gone? Like, you just did that a second ago and now you're not using them at all? I mean, that doesn't make sense to me. And this is a villain who's doing that. So I'm just like, you're a villain. You also have no reason to be holding back at all whatsoever. So I'm confused. And like I said, with Johnny Bolt, for example, again, you'll see it in the show. But like, he goes from super incompetent to crazy competent. And it's just like, when did that happen? How did that happen? Why did that happen? So, if you can look past the, all of that stuff, this might be something that you can check out. I don't know if they can do a continuation of this. I don't think they can, and if they do, it'll probably have to be a different set of characters. Because, like, the story that they kind of tell in this, in this, um, you know, anime is very contained. Like, there would be no space for them to continue outside of characters being super dumb again, which I don't think they should do. So yeah, this I think is a one and done. I know a lot of people who like a one and done and it's like 12 episodes. So if you want a quick anime, you know, if you want a quick anime drink, this would be it. This would be it. This ain't Naruto where you're going to be gulping gallons for eons. So what do you think, Master Bill? Let me know in the comment section down below. Have you seen the trailer? Have you watched? Super Crooks. Let me know in the comment section down below. And also, let's try and keep it spoiler free. If you do want me to talk spoilers and you do want me to talk about the things that I did have an issue with, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll make that video just for you. But right now, I just want to get your general thoughts on the entire thing. Look at that. You made it to the end of the video. You are spectacular. Now, if you really like this video, I got another one up here. I got a playlist down there. And I got an icon you can click on to subscribe. Remember to ring the bell if you do subscribe and I'll see you all in another video because my comment's got to be out. Peace.